Um, energy update for August the 18th. We're looking at WTI crude. It's been all over the place the last couple of days. Uh, those last two bars on the daily chart tell the story. Um, we recovered pretty much all of Thursday's losses on Friday in a really volatile couple of days, as I say. So uh, we've managed last week uh, to hold above a trend line that goes back to the week of the third week of April 2013. So pretty long term trend line. We've also managed to hold the weekly uh, 200, sorry, the 200 week moving average at 96.08. We bottomed out last week at 90, in around the 95.30 area. But certainly the recovery on Friday means that we've survived the test of those two uh, important areas. Uh, we've got a 100 week moving average at 97.60. So we're going to have to get through there this week to look a bit more positive. 98.20 would then be a big challenge. We've got last we've got the two week high at 98.58 to 98.67. That's going to be another big challenge. And above there, we've got the 100 day moving average at 99.80. And we've got a big fib resistance around the 100 area. Those are the big levels to w watch for this week. A retest of the 200 week moving average at 96.10 area. Well, that could be some decent support. We've got that trend line I mentioned going back to April 2013 that comes in at around 95.90. So that 96.10, 95.90 area will be important. And obviously a break below last week's low at 95.30 is going to be a problem and that would keep the market under pressure. Uh, those are the levels to look for on a weekly basis. Obviously you'll get the updates uh, each day on the daily reports. Brent crude, we're into October now. Uh, we managed to hold on to last week's low at 101.90. We've managed to hold on there on Friday, made a good recovery uh, following WTI crude higher. So uh, it's a question of can we get through the 104.40 level this week? 104.20, 104.40, that's going to be important resistance. Uh, you can see that was the the high August, uh, sorry, the high of uh, Wednesday and Thursday last week. We get through 104.60. It's going to look more positive. Uh, last week's lows, we're going to have to hold on there. We are really oversold on the daily chart, um, so there is a chance we can recover. Just be aware though that the 100 week moving average is just starting to clo uh, cross over below the 100, the 200 week moving average, and that dead cross is certainly not a positive signal. It's nothing to worry about in the very short term over the next few days or even next couple of weeks, but it's worth bearing in mind that oil really has taken quite a tumble and it's not, it, you know, we are in a quite a significant downtrend now, certainly over the last two months. It's one thing that is worth noting on the Brent crude contract, the October contract has a 200 week moving average at 101.47. So as long as we hold above there this week, we can start to stage a recovery and try and unwind some of that oversold situation, but uh, bulls are going to have to throw in the towel below 101.47 uh, on a closing basis at least. That won't look good. Nat gas pretty much doing what it was supposed to. It wasn't supposed to get through four uh, four thousand last week, and it didn't. Uh, I think 40.20 was the um, was the high of last week. Yep, 40.20. Okay, so we came lower. We're below this little trend line here, so the outlook is negative. We plunged again on Friday. Uh, we look like we're going to retest uh, the July lows around, uh, let me see now, 37.23 was the July low. We've got 200 week moving average at 37.17. So if we get below there, that's going to start adding more pressure. But just bear in mind, we've got really important longer term FIB support at 36.50. So those are the big levels to look for on the downside, and I'm sure we're going to test at least one of those. If we do manage to double bottom out, obviously around the 37.20 area, that's going to be potentially quite positive, although I'd be surprised. It really doesn't look good, and I don't think it's worth fighting this sort of two, three month bear trend. It's got a lot of momentum, and we failed at the first hurdle last week as we had expected we would. So really, that just looks like a bounce in a bear trend. and. There's, there's every chance we're going to be breaking through 3700 this week.